Hi, Lace from Thailand here. And today's video is, you couldn't make this up. You really couldn't make this up. Some more news coming out of Thailand on the, the Ministry of Silly Ideas, which is going on in Thailand. Now, I don't like knocking Thailand. I've lived in Thailand now for 10 years, but sometimes things that come out, I think some people need to listen and hear what's going on in Thailand and the, the Silly Ideas department have been working overtime. I've done a video recently and it's almost hit 3,000 views and this video here, Thailand Visa, self-destruct my views. Give it a watch and you'll see what's actually going on in Thailand as well. So the source of this information I'm going to give today was the Bangkok Post. Again, it, it's they seem hell-bent on getting rich tourists and rich retirees over here in Thailand. Now I've got no complaints or moans and groans about that. Thailand needs anybody from the cheap Charlies up to the multi-millionaires and everything in between. So when you see the constant posts of wealthy retirees and wealthy expats to come to Thailand and invest in Thailand and you hear the silliness that's going on. Again, this is just one example that I'm going to say. And again, the source was from the Bangkok Post. Now they're wanting rich investors to buy properties in Thailand and understandably the Thai authorities are, are scared that by inviting such wealth to come and buy properties and land in Thailand is going to outprice what the Thais can afford. Now I agree with that and as I say in some ways by the way Thailand is at present that's never going to happen but they also want the, the money to be invested so they can't have it both ways. But here's some silly ideas that they're coming up with. Now they want investments of properties worth over 10 million baht. And to sort of entice you to buy 10 million baht, they're going to give you some advantages with regard to visas and, and so, so. But here's the silliness parts of it. They're still undecided about the 51% to 49% ratio for time to foreign ownership. At the minute, let's take an example of 100 condo units. Them 100 condo units has to belong to 51% Thai and 49% foreigners. They're still arguing over the, actually whether they'll allow foreigners to go over that 51% mark. And now they're on about zoning areas, so just only wealthy foreigners can buy these properties at over 10 million baht. Again, I've got no problems with that zoning the areas but they're still putting obstacles in the way. In other words, these zoned off areas, they're asking people for 10 million and above, you can only buy brand new apartments for up 10 million and above. So the question I'm going to ask is, how do you sell it? If another wealthy foreigner comes along and you put your condo up for sale, you can't buy yours because now it's second hand. So how this person who spent over 10 million baht on a condo, how is he going to sell it? He's bought it in a zoned area, so foreigners can buy, but yet wealthy investors can't buy second-hand condo units. Where's the sense in that? Why don't they think before they act and say these silly things that are coming out? Because YouTubers are always going to scrutinise anything that's going to be said. And me and plenty of other vloggers have come up with the same ideas and the, we, we paint the same picture with regard to the uncertainty for people to come back to Thailand. There is no certainty as yet. And they've said this offer may only last for up to five years. So then what happens after five years? You know, the, the uncertainty is there. If, if, if somebody wants to come and live here long term, as with everybody, you know, at, at the minute I just get a yearly visa. I'd love to be able to have a five year visa. So I know that after five years, I'll reapply for it again. But it's five years trouble free visa. Why don't they just start at the bottom and then work their way up about I've lived here for 10 years. I've contributed to Thailand for 10 years now. I've got friends here who have 30 plus million baht's worth of properties. They're no better thought of than me, who rents a property for 12,000 baht a month. I've got other friends who own two properties in two different provinces. And again, same thing. They're no better thought of than me. With regard to, I'm just paying the rental. I'm probably one of the cheap Charlies that live here. But my money to a, a mom and pop shop the 20 bats, 40 bats that I buy things from them is more than welcome. Thailand welcomes the money 
that any tourist brings, whether they're wealthy or whether they're not wealthy, backpackers to multi-millionaires, 20 back is still 20 back to a Thai person. So bring out some good measures with regard to attracting everybody to Thailand, not just one group of people who are wealthy who you think they're going to be Thailand saviour. Anybody at the minute, in my view, is Thailand saviour. Anybody that's coming here to spend money is Thailand saviour. So the whole world is chasing the same amount of money, the same tourists, the same wealthy people. Thailand is nowhere near the same as other countries with regard to attracting wealthy foreigners. So Thailand, start at the bottom, work your way up. Don't try to run before you can walk. So that was my little video with regard to some of the news that's going on. So let's hope for better things soon. So from Les, retired living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.